I am a structural biologist. What that means is I use biophysical tools, in particular X-ray crystallography and cryo-electron microscopy, to understand the structural basis of life processes in the world. When we came into the picture about 15 years ago at Tsinghua University, we decided to work on the splicing machinery, the spliceosome. We can reveal the secrets of life by studying the structure and function of the spliceosome. After eight years of hard work, in 2015, my laboratory determined the very first high-resolution three-dimensional structure of the first eukaryotic spliceosome. That means we visualized the atomic structure of the spliceosome in three dimensions. By studying the structure, we began to understand the function of the spliceosome. Then in 2017, my laboratory elucidated the first human spliceosome in high resolution. After that, my laboratory continued with structural elucidation of a range of different functional states of both yeast spliceosome and human spliceosome. Together, through the research accomplishments of my laboratory and those of a few others, we as human beings are able to visualize how splicing occurs in three dimensions. We precisely understand how a pre-mRNA can be recognized by the spliceosome, how splicing occurs, how axons are ligated, how introns are taken out, etc. In terms of understanding mechanisms, we are pretty much there. But from basic research, from the bench to the bedside, to clinical development, to something that is beneficial for the society at large, we have a long way to go. So for me, at the same time, we are finishing up the details of splicing machineries in terms of structure and function. We are moving into applications. We are trying very hard to uncover, to discover inhibitors and modulators of the spliceosome, of the splicing processes in the effort to discover potential therapeutics for treatment of debilitating diseases. I really think, as scientists, we are making headways at the frontiers of human knowledge by creating new knowledge, by going to uncharted territories. We are representing our entire humanities to make advance in basic research, and that makes me feel enormously satisfied. I think that is my little contribution as a scientist, as a person, as a human being, uh, to my peers, to the society, and perhaps um, you know, to those who have placed their trust on me as an individual. It is a huge honor for me to receive this prestigious award. I would like to sincerely thank the jury, the selection committee, for your expert opinion and for your trust. Thank you for giving me this honor and thank you for choosing me as a co-recipient of this prestigious award.